Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own ICO on Stellar Blockchain with SimbaChain. Alright, so head on over to app.simbachain.com to get started. But before we jump into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. You can create an account by clicking login or sign up down here in the bottom right hand corner. Alright, so go ahead and create an account if you don't have one already. Once you've logged in, you'll see your dashboard here inside of Simba. And the first step that you want to do is to create three new accounts for the ICO, okay? And you can do that like this. Go to your account icon here and click on blockchain wallets and go to Stellar Wallet, all right? I've got some test accounts here already. And if this is a new account for you, you know, you'll see, uh, you won't see anything here yet. But you can create a new account like this. Just click this plus icon down here, all right? You'll need to unlock the wallet first, so you'll enter a password, all right? And you're going to click Create New Stellar Account. Okay, I'm going to call this uh, Issuer. This will be the first uh, account in this scenario. Okay, And I'll do it again. Create New Account. And this time we'll create a Distributor. All right. And then a third account. And this is going to be the Investor. All right, click Create. And these are going to be the three different accounts that we use uh, for this ICO scenario. An investor, a distributor, and an issuer. Now these accounts are created, we want to ensure that they're funded, okay? So click on each account and click Show Balances, and we'll choose the test network for this, okay? Stellar, Stellar Testnet. And you'll see that you need to deposit the balance to activate, all right? You can click this Deposit icon over here and wait for this to finish. It'll refresh and check for the balance. And now we can see that we have 1,000 XLM, all right? We'll do this again for the distributor, all right? Stellar Testnet, click Deposit. And then the same thing for the investor, all right? Stellar Testnet, click Deposit. And once they've all been uh, successfully funded, we'll see the new balances here. Now, I'm going to keep these accounts handy for the rest of this tutorial, okay? I'm going to keep them open in a new tab so that we can access these uh, addresses quickly for copying and pasting into other parts of the application, okay? So, I'll keep this open in a new tab to where you can access these accounts, all right? So, the next step is to create smart contracts for this ICO, okay? We're going to create four new smart contracts. We will uh, do that like this. Go to Smart Contract, go to Stellar. All right, I've got some test contracts in here already, but you can create a new smart contract with this plus button down here. The first smart contract is going to be the distributor trust issuer, okay? And you can see a list of predefined options over here. These are gonna be operations that the smart contract can perform. And we're gonna select from this predefined list, we're gonna find change trust. So scroll down, find that, all right? Change trust and click check. All right, now we're gonna name this contract. I'm gonna name it the distributor trust issuer okay click save all right so we have the distributor trust issuer we'll click plus to add a new contract this time we're going to select the payment option okay click check we'll call this the create tokens smart contract all right click save all right another contract we will select the manage offer operation okay and we're going to call this the Distribute Tokens. Now I'll create the final contract. All right, I'll click this plus button down here. And we'll select two template operations uh, in this case. The first one is going to be Change Trust. So we'll scroll down to find that. All right. And then the next one will be uh, Manage Offer. Okay. So we'll find that here. All right, so we see two steps, change trust, then manage offer. And this is going to be our buy tokens contract for the ICO. So buy tokens. All right, click save. All right, so now we have four uh, new contracts, okay? The distributor trust issuer, create tokens, distribute tokens, and then buy tokens. And these are all four essential pieces that we need in order to create this ICO, all right? The next step is to create applications for each of these contracts. Okay, you can go to your applications here. And we're going to add a new application for each contract like this. So we'll click the plus button down here. All right. Blockchain type will be Stellar. And network type will be the Stellar testnet. Click continue. File system type, we'll just choose IPFS default for now. Okay. The first app will be the distributor trust issuer contract. 
click continue. We'll call this distributor trust issuer. Okay, API name, we'll just say distributor trust issuer. Okay, click continue. Select the Stellar account. Let's just choose the first one, so the issuer. Okay, all right. And we will unlock the wallet. Unlock and click deploy. All right, all done. Now we just need to wait a few seconds for this uh, to be confirmed by the network. Click OK. And now we can see our new application listed here. Now I'm going to repeat those steps for each of the contracts that we created in the previous step. OK, we're going to choose Stellar Test Network. And we're going to choose IPFS. We're going to choose the Create Tokens contract. We'll call this Create Tokens. Continue. Stellar account, we'll just choose the first one. Click deploy. We'll do this again for distribute tokens. Click deploy. And the same for buy tokens. Now that these apps are created, let's execute the ICO. The first thing you want to do is find the Distributor Trust Issuer app, click the expansion icon, and then click Method Call. All right, and inside of here, you're going to have to unlock your Stellar wallet. And we want to fill out all the values for this method call. First, for the account, we'll click the distributor. All right, we'll see it's balanced loaded here. And we want to select alphanumeric 12, all right, for the asset. And I'm going to name my asset a DAP token, all right? and we'll click the issuer account ID. So you need to go to the tab where you have your accounts open. All right, I'm gonna copy the issuer address. Copy it like this, paste it here. All right, click confirm and click call. And we should see this transaction come up here in our transaction history. All right, there you go. Now that that first step's finished, we need to go to the second step, which is creating the tokens themselves. So go back to our applications, all right, and we'll click on the Create Tokens app. We'll find the method calls. So click this button right here. And we'll unlock the wallet. Now we want to select the Stellar account. We're going to choose the issuer wallet for this, OK? And when we create the tokens, we need to set the destination. And this is going to be the distributor account, all right? So go to your uh, wallets here, copy the distributor, and paste it here, all right? And now we want to set the asset to alphanumeric 12 and enter in the same asset code. So DAP token is what I just created. All right. So the issuer account ID, make sure you copy this. All right. And then paste it here. And for the amount, I'm going to uh, say 999. Click confirm and call. All right, and there you go, we've created the tokens. The next step is to distribute the tokens. So go back to our applications and click on the Distribute Tokens app. Click the method call button here. Unlock the wallet. Now we want to select the distributor account. Okay, select distributor. Wait for it to load. All right, we can see that the balance is listed here. We'll fill out all the values for managing the offer. We're going to click Sell Alphanumeric 12. Okay. We'll add the asset code that we created in the previous step. And then we'll add the issuer account ID. So make sure you copy that. And we'll paste it in here. We'll set Buying to Native. Uh, the amount that we're selling is going to be, uh, we'll say 900. And the price will be 1. The offer ID will be 0. All right. Click Confirm. And click Call. All right, and there you go. You can see it successfully listed the transaction here in the transaction history. All right, and the final step is going to be to actually purchase the tokens as an investor. So we'll go back to the applications. We will select the buy tokens application, click the method call. All right, unlock the wallet. And for the account, we're going to choose the investor. All right, so click investor here. And we'll fill out this form down here. We'll click alphanumeric 12, we'll add the asset code. We'll add the issuer account ID, so copy this from the uh, dashboard, paste that in, all right, click next. And now for the second step, we need to manage the offer, okay. So we want to click buying as alphanumeric 12, all right, 
add the asset code, so dap token. All right, issuer account ID, make sure you've copied that correctly. Paste it in here. All right, so the amount um, that is being sold in this case, we'll say 100, and the price of the asset will be one, and the offer ID will be zero. All right, so click confirm, and click call. All right, and there you go. We successfully purchased the tokens in the ICO. Now, as the investor, we can verify with Stellar's own tools that this you know, purchase was uh, successful, okay? We can actually go to the Stellar Laboratory over at stellar.org forward slash laboratory. I'll just visit that link right now. You can select Endpoint Explorer, Accounts, Single Account, and you can copy the investor address here, which is copy like this, and scroll down here and paste it in uh, for a single account, click Submit. And this will show you all the information about your account, okay? This is a JSON response. You can scroll down and find balances, okay? And here we can see that we have 100 DAP token, all right? This is the asset that was being sold in the ICO. So this is proof that our ICO worked and that our investor uh, received 100 DAP tokens whenever they purchased them in the ICO. So there you go. It's successful. All right, and that's how easy it is to create your own ICO on Stellar Blockchain with Simba Chain. So head on over to app.simbachain.com to create your own ICO today. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.